I'm so happy that you guys are here today, inshallah. Um, when I was your age, um, I didn't have anyone to teach me the azan or give me the opportunity to even give the azan. When you go to local massages, right? When you go to the mosque, mos for example, you have someone like an older uncle that would give the azan, right? And sometimes you don't get that opportunity. But you guys have to understand that, subhanAllah, you guys are the future. Um, we depend on you. Everything is for you. And inshallah, whatever I know, inshallah, I will pass down. Inshallah, I expect you to pass down to your brother. We're all brothers, alhamdulillah, right? Right? Alhamdulillah. So, with that said, um, has anyone in this room given the azan before? Can I get a raise of hands, inshallah? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Um, have you given the azan uh, publicly in a mosque? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Can I get five volunteers? Five volunteers. Just gonna five. I just need five volunteers to come right here with me. And inshallah, we're gonna recite if that's okay. Is that okay? Yeah? Inshallah, yeah? Okay, so I need a hand, please, inshallah. I can get three volunteers, that's fine, inshallah, three. So three volunteers, bismillah. This is, so yes, mashallah, mashallah. The, the most important thing is, you have to understand this, that when you are a mu'azzin, is, mashallah, is you want to break that barrier, that ice of fear. Because one day, inshallah, right? And I know that, inshallah, each one of you will be giving the azan, and you will stand up in that fear of being 500 people behind you, or 300 people it can get to you, right? In a sense. And so, alhamdulillah, this is the opportunity right now. Think of me as your older brother. You can recite. We can break that ice, and inshallah. And I can coach you guys, inshallah, one-on-one. -on -one. Okay? So, inshallah, the most important key aspect when it comes to the, the adhan is the pronunciation first and foremost, right? We have to pronounce the words correctly, for example, right? I come from an Afghani background. I'm a non-Arabic speaker, right? But alhamdulillah, I can, I could, uh, I've practiced enough to work. Alhamdulillah, that I could say it right. And I, I'm, I'm assuming that inshallah, everyone can do it as well. It's possible, alhamdulillah, okay? So for example, when I was younger, I was, I used to pronounce it like this, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, right? That's not the correct pronunciation, right? It would be pronounced as an Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. So the first key to becoming a muazzin is that you need to focus on your pronunciation. Uh, the voice and the tone, inshallah, that's going to come in time. That's very simple and very easy. That's something you have to focus on yourself. But, f but the most important thing at the same time is that you ask your mother and your father to make dua for you. The power of the dua for the mother and the father is tremendous. And inshallah, with that, you can become the greatest mu'azzins, and I can see that, inshallah. You guys are the future. You guys will become the best mu'azzins to where, inshallah, the goal is when you call the azan, the main goal, obviously, to call people towards the prayer, but at the same time, you touch a heart when you call, right? When someone has a good voice, in a sense, when they're reciting, doesn't it feel good when you hear it, right? It feels good. You feel it. So imagine if someone's sleeping in the mosque or someone's far away, and they hear that, that voice, and it wakes them up and it brings them. Now just imagine if there's a non-Muslim. SubhanAllah, they can take the shahada. You ask any non-Muslim that hears the azan. For example, they say it's the most haunting and beautiful call I've ever heard in my life. It's such a beautiful call that it grasps, it pulls people. And on, and on top of that, the rewards of being a mu'azzin. The rewards, if people knew the rewards, people would be fighting, fighting each other, arguing, to give the call to prayer. It's very, very important, inshallah. If you could please introduce yourselves, inshallah, mashallah. I'm so happy that you two came up, mashallah. Your name, brother? Uh, my name is Hamza. Mashallah. Salaikum, my name is Adam. Uh, mashallah. Okay. And now, Now, for example, there is what you want to do is the first thing, what I always recommend, inshallah. And after this, inshallah, I'll give you my number. I'll coach you one-on-one. -on -one. You could record your voice, send it to me, and I'll tell you exactly where to fix the tone, 
I'll help you with your breath, inshallah. It's very simple, inshallah. But first and foremost, the first step you have to do is take the step which these two, mashallah, young brothers have taken, is you break that fear, the ice. You break that ice, so then you stand up with courage and you can call. Because sometimes if you don't break that ice and you try to call, sometimes you lose your breath in that sense, right? And everyone, you know, never, no, no one really wants that in that sense. So inshallah, um, for example, there's different styles as well. Of, uh, of giving the azan as well, right? There's the <clears throat> Egyptian style, which is go, it goes like this. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, right? And then there's Haramain style, for example, in Mecca and Medina. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, right? There's different styles, right? Different tones. Everyone can pick their own tone, and anyone can master any tone. But you need to practice, inshallah. Okay. So, inshallah. With that said, I'm gonna have the brother right here give a demonstration, and you could just you can say the first four. You can say Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Okay. And you can say it in whatever tone you want, inshallah. Maybe the form of the first. The four. Yes. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah MashaAllah, MashaAllah Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah MashaAllah MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah It's very, very simple Inshallah, you have to believe in yourselves It's very, very, very easy You just have to practice, Inshallah Now who wants to be a Muazzin? Raise their hand MashaAllah, MashaAllah. See, there you go, there you go. So who, who raise, keep raising your hand. Raise your hand. Okay, I need you guys to come here, Bismillah. Come. Whoever raised their hand, come, Bismillah. Come on. I know each and one of you, inshallah, can be a mu'azin. And not just a mu'azin, one of the greatest mu'azins. You have to believe in yourself. Okay? What is your name, brother? Yusuf. Yusuf, MashaAllah. Very nice to meet you. Allah. Can you do the same thing as they did, inshallah, uh, before? Yeah. Yes, MashaAllah. <coughs> Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah MashaAllah, Bismillah, brother, you're next. I always thought you say Allah Akbar four times. That's uh, what I was taught. Well, you can say it. You can. Well, you can say it four times. Like it's like when you go fast pace. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Okay. Go for it. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah Akbar. Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadur Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadur Rasulullah. Wait, so I'm just supposed to say. You're just gonna say Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, and then Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. And try to say it in a tone. Inshallah, try to say it. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I said, Well, I said, Well, I said, Well, I said, Well, Beautiful, beautiful voice, everyone, mashallah. So, inshallah, so. The key concept, inshallah, to becoming a muazzin is one, believing in yourself, okay? 
one, making sure that your pronunciation is perfected. Because you can change the meaning, right, in Arabic, right? For example, if I was to say, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, right? It's not Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Your pronunciation is very crucial, okay? So you have to make sure that you're pronouncing everything to the T exactly, inshallah. After, when you're done fixing your pronunciation, inshallah, you can work on your voice. You can work on your tone. You can go, for example, <clears throat> Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, right, with the high pitch, right? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, with the low tone. You could fix and fix your own tone, inshallah. But what you need to do is, what I recommend, inshallah, for the younger generation, inshallah, to go on YouTube, look at videos. Yes, do you have a hand? Question? You want to? Oh, mashallah. You want to give the azan? You sure? Okay. <laughs> okay, so... What you want to do is, what I did is when I was younger, I went on YouTube and uh, obviously asked my mom to make dua for because I was terrified of public speaking or even just giving the azan in general. But what you want to do is go on YouTube, listen to a muazzin, record yourself, let your parents listen to you, send the recording as well to me, let me listen to it. But your number one critique is yourself. You can change your voice. When I started out, I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I didn't even have the breath to give the azan. I couldn't, I couldn't even copy what I wanted to copy. My voice was so scratchy and screechy like that I couldn't even comprehend or like I couldn't even think that one day I was going to be able to give the azan. But you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You need to record your voice and you need to keep pushing. You need to, you need to practice and believe it or not, inshallah, you'll be surprised of how far you can reach with your voice. It's, it's, it's amazing, subhanAllah. And it's the most beautiful thing in the world to become a muazzin and one to help your community, but at the same time to touch other people's hearts, for them to make dua for you, for non-Muslims to hear the azan, for them to be pulled into Islam. They, they love that. Every non-Muslim, the first thing they say, they, they say that call to prayer is the most haunting, beautiful call I've ever heard in my life. The Christians have a bell, the Jews have a horn, but think about it, the most beautiful thing is what? A human's voice, the Qur'an, the recitation, the prayer. What is it? It's all voice, it's vocal. So imagine hearing the call to prayer with a beautiful voice, with the pronunciation. You pull someone. Someone's tired, they don't want to pray when they hear that call that wakes them up. It gives them that energy, subhanAllah. And they come and they pray. And imagine how much reward you get and how much hasana you get, inshallah. So, any questions for me? Any questions at all? For the brothers that came on the stage, any questions? Any questions at all? Any questions you have? The, the Azan, anything? Yes. So, for instance, yes. Right. Absolutely. There should be a different, uh, different uh, version. Sorry, uh, uh, like a differentiation between like. Absolutely. So the brother is right. Exactly what he's saying. Mashallah. With uh, the beautification and the tone. For example, the tone is right. Your tone of how low and how high you go. The beautification is to make sure to you're not. For example, um, when you're reciting. You're not making it screechy and you're making it smooth and you're making it sound very beautiful at the same time. That's what you focus on. Inshallah, I answered it. Yeah. Okay. Inshallah. And then, um, and if anyone, inshallah, anyone, like I said, when I was your age, I didn't have anyone to teach me. I'm first and foremost not even a teacher. I don't consider myself a scholar or nothing. I'm just a brother. I'm your brother in Islam and we're all, alhamdulillah, brothers. And inshallah, I've, I've learned some things, alhamdulillah, and I'm, and I'm willing, inshallah, and I'd love to teach my own, my own brothers, inshallah, in Islam. And we're all one family. Yes, brother? How long did it take you to read that beautiful Islam? Oh, jazakallah <laughs> khair. Um, I, I don't think my voice is good, but uh, alhamdulillah, but um, my mom, uh, the story behind it is uh, what I mean by the prayer and duas of a mother and a father. My mom went to Hajj. And she, when she went to Hajj, she, she touched the Kaaba and she, she made dua and she said, uh, Ya Allah, make my son a mu'azzin. And I never in my life have given the call when she came back and she said, you have to become a mu'azzin. I was like, 
this is impossible. I can't do this. I was like, I'm terrified of public speaking, but I don't have a voice. I, I, I don't know anything. And, and alhamdulillah, uh, she, she brought some CDs back. I went on YouTube. I taught myself. Uh, I, I, I took the courage to, to learn and I practiced. And alhamdulillah, it took me two years. And, and mashallah, that's me. Everyone's different. I'm sure anyone here could learn within a week, a month, a year, or maybe less than that, inshallah. It's possible. It's just how much you practice. Practice is very important, right? For example, like Qari Abdul Basit, rahimallah, right? We all know Qari Abdul Basit, super long voice, Qari Min Shari, long breath. I couldn't even be close to pronouncing the way they would pronounce. But it took me a year and I focused on my breath to where I could, I could do the same thing that they're doing, same level, but obviously not close to them, mashallah, they're something else, but it's possible. Anything is possible. Inshallah, as, as long as you make your dua, your intention, your niya, and you ask your parents to make the dua for you, you can do it, inshallah. Absolutely. There's no difference between you and any other one, anyone here. Anyone here can do it, inshallah. And I see the future of our ummah and the future generation of the ma'azins here, inshallah. Remember, you have a very important task. And you, everyone here, alhamdulillah, that's here, that's going to be a future ma'azin, is that I'm not going to be here. I'll be gone. You are the future. You are the generation of the ummah. This, mas this masjid, that building, that, that land that, that they purchased, mashallah, it's for you guys, for you to pass Islam down, for you to teach the next ummah, the next generation. It's all up to you. You guys are all the future. You guys are the most precious thing to all of us, inshallah. May Allah preserve you. May Allah grant you all afiyah. I'm sorry, the brother had a question? Or? There any questions? or? Okay. May Allah grant you guys all afiyah, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, make you amongst the greatest of the mu'azins, inshallah. I mean, uh, say ameen, ameen. Bismillah. And um, inshallah, you can all do it. And inshallah, my contact information will be with uh, Brother Munir. If you guys need anything, my, my personal cell phone, you can text me anytime, send me your azan, and I will coach you one on one. And inshallah, I promise you, you can do it. No problem. And I'll teach you I have, I, I, seven different styles, alhamdulillah. I've, I've mastered seven different styles. I'll try to do four, four so I don't mix it up too much. But for example, <clears throat> like again, we'll start with the Egyptian in the beginning. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Right? And then Haramain, which is um, in, in Saudi. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Right? And then you have the Surya style, which is Syrian style. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Right? And then you have so many different styles and you're confused. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Sorry, my voice is a little screechy. I didn't drink enough water. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of different styles. What you want to focus on first, your pronunciation. And then you pick a style that you want, inshallah. And then from there on, you try to master that first style. Once you've mastered the first style of whatever adhan style that you picked, you can master anything afterwards, inshallah. You can pick and choose, inshallah. Now, now what we're going to do is, inshallah, we're going to focus on pronunciation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the mic to these brothers here. We're going to do the same thing that we did before, right? But now we're going to focus on not the voice, but just the pronunciation, inshallah, right? So try to... Repeat after me exactly the same if you can, inshallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Okay? Bismillah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah.
Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Okay, for the younger brothers that are sitting down, I'm not going to let you guys sit down. Okay, so we're all going to stand up. Bismillah. Stand up, everyone, inshallah. Everyone here is going to be participating, inshallah. I'm very, very happy that everyone is here. So now we're going to put some pressure. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, I'll be the podium. This one. Oh. You're going to must it. Pretend this is the podium. You're going to stand here. You're going to put your hands up. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Mashallah, Mashallah. Who's next? Bismillah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhad an la ilaha illallah. Ashhad an la ilaha illallah. The main purpose is, inshallah, to break whatever fear you have, the fear of speaking. Inshallah, and at the same time, it's practice, and we're all here as one family. Alhamdulillah. So, Inshallah, the more practice, the more confidence, the more better everything. Inshallah. Bismillah. Yes, for example, uh, the brother was asking, why do you put your finger or your hand near your ear? Because sometimes when you're doing the azan, it's echoing. So sometimes you want to kind of close off your ear to where you could hear your inner voice. You could hear yourself exactly, and you could kind of fix your tone in that sense. Me, personally, I don't do that. I don't put my finger in my ear. I just put my hand like towards like the, the side of my uh, sideburn right here. I hold it like that. And that, for example, that helps me focus in that sense. Yeah. So, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, next. You guys are the stars right now, right? MashaAllah. The brave ones. Okay, Bismillah. Next one. Remember, when you stand to that mic, you get that fear in that sense, right? But what you do is what I do is I take a deep breath. I exhale. Deep breath. Close your eyes. You open your eyes. Don't pay attention to the picture that one is here. It's only you and the microphone. Remember that, okay? And remember, the most important thing is you're pleasing the Lord. That's the most thing, right? You're pleasing Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, my brother, you're next. Bismillah. Yes, yes. I got to go to the bathroom. 
Really or not? Yeah, actually, no, I'm not joking. If you have to, okay, right, you don't have to say that. But if you have to go, go, go to the restroom. It's okay. But you know one thing, brother. The minute you come back, you're next. Remember that. <laughs> He's running away. I'll, I'll come and get you. Don't worry. But remember, mashallah, that imagine right now the ability that you have to speak and say this out loud, you can easily say it. So go, bismillah. Go to the bathroom. We'll wait for you, inshallah. Uh, can I get the next brother, inshallah? Hey, you will, inshallah. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Nashadu Allah, Ilaha illallah. Nashadu Allah, Ilaha illallah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Next. <coughs> oh, yeah, and anyone, anyone that's called can sit down. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Nashadu Allah, Ilaha illallah. Nashadu Allah, Ilaha illallah. Mashallah, mashallah. Next. Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Mashallah, mashallah. You're gonna come back. Nope. I'm gonna teach you something. Ready? Come closer. So you you know how you feel it. You feel it like you're nervous, right? A little. Yes. So what I want you to do is I want you to exhale. So, there you go. Breathe again. Good. Close your eyes. I'll say it again. Just one. Allah. 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 Those who have signed up for dinner, your dinner is here. Please proceed to Banquet Hall and you can have your dinner there. Inshallah, we'll present, uh, we'll start the town hall at 7.30. So, town hall presentation will be at 7.30. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Shailah, Allah, Allah, Shailah, Allah, Allah. Mashallah, Mashallah. Next. Brother, I have a question. Yes, brother. Uh, so, I noticed that you have, Mashallah, a great rhythm. And you're. I heard, Mashallah, that you have a, a great rhythm. And I've heard you many times uh, give the event. And I wanted to understand how you were able to find the tone to and um, to to extend your tone at the right moment, to decrease your tone at the right moment. Because you sound, mashallah, just like the uh, the muaddins on YouTube. Jazakallah khair, brother. First and foremost, I have no voice. I'm nobody. But alhamdulillah, I've practiced. Uh, so with the tone is the most important thing is when you're giving the azan is to record yourself and listen to yourself. When you hear the muazzin, you hear the muazzins in Haramain and Mecca and Masr, right? When you hear them and you hear how beautiful their voice is, you record your voice and then you can imitate and you can copy. You can fix that tone. You can, you can correct your mistakes and you could literally fix your tone. Brother, would you like to come and give it a try? Bismillah, come on. My tone ain't like yours, though. No, 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 no. Bismillah. Same thing as the rest of them, inshallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله So you see how the brother just came with that confidence upon Allah He just gave it right I'll tell you this right now within two months he can change his whole voice, and he has a beautiful voice, mashallah. His pronunciation, he'll probably master it, inshallah, in two months. That, I can tell you right now, because just that confidence right there of walking to the microphone in front of everyone, that is the most, that's the most key factor right there when giving the azan, right? You can have a good voice, you can have good pronunciation, but if you don't have that confidence, if you, ha if you have that fear and you let the fear get into you, you're going to hear your voice tremble on the microphone, right? 
And so what you want to do, inshallah, and this is this is the reason for it, right? Don't worry about no one here is 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 mastered anything, no one here is a scholar, no one here is anything, right? We're all here as one, we're brothers. We're here to help each other out in that sense, inshallah, right? So everyone can do it, inshallah. It takes a little bit of practice, lots of dua from the mother and the father, inshallah, and you can do it, inshallah. Okay? So next, bismillah. Uh, I believe you're next. Yep. And then we'll look for the brother that's in the restroom. <laughs> What's his name? Anyone know his name? Huh? Iyad? Oh, mashallah. Okay, we're going to get him, inshallah. Go bismillah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. How do you feel? Good? Yeah, MashaAllah. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, next. Yeah, inshallah, of course. Oh, okay. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu la ilaha illallah, Ashadu la ilaha illallah. MashaAllah. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to stand here again, take a deep breath, exhale, pretend no one's, pretend no one's in this room, okay? And then go again. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu la ilaha illallah, Ashadu la ilaha illallah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, next. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Next. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. You see the confidence right there? Do you see how his tone was? MashaAllah, that's what I want to see. Next. And the brothers that are sitting down, inshallah, you guys are participating as well, inshallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Next. It's okay. Bismillah. Go Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Mashallah, mashallah. Next. You guys are almost up. Thank you so much. Jazakallah. Go for Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah MashaAllah, MashaAllah Next Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Mashallah, mashallah. Look at that conference. Wait, brother. I need you to back here. Now, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to look at everyone doing it. You see the confidence? Mashallah, look. Go. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Mashallah, mashallah. You guys are already confident, so go for it. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. 
الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الله ما شاء الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ما شاء الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله so إن شاء الله we're gonna be my brother yes yes please بسم الله so sorry your name الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله أجاب بسم الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن إله إلا الله أشهد أن إله إلا الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recite it and I'm gonna recite it very slow and I'm not gonna do it with a tone I'm just gonna do it just pronunciation inshallah you guys could repeat back okay okay inshallah so I need everyone to volunteer inshallah okay so try to copy my voice exactly the way it is okay when it comes to pronunciation okay not the tone just pronunciation okay so Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar MashaAllah see you already you already changed your pronunciation look at that MashaAllah okay Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah MashaAllah Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah Hayya ala salah Hayya ala al falah and remember when you say Hayya ala al falah in your uh, in your azan, you're supposed to say that ha afterwards. So when you say Hayya ala al falah, right, that end end that that H sound that you have. Okay, so the so mashallah. So the way you've recited right now, you've already changed your pronunciation, and it's your first time. Subhanallah. Okay, you what you need to do is you need to keep on focusing on reciting and practicing your pronunciation. Once you have mastered your pronunciation, the tone, you look at one tone, you look at one style, and you can master that, inshallah. It takes a little bit of time, but you need to believe in yourself, and you can definitely do it. Okay, inshallah? Right? 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you try to recite the Egyptian style. Okay, so I'm going to have a volunteer come up. These, these brothers already helped out. If you guys want as well, you can jump on, inshallah. So I need one volunteer from here, inshallah. Who's going to come up? Oh, another one? Yeah, inshallah. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely, inshallah. He's going to beat them up. No, no, he's not. No, it's okay. No, no, he's not, inshallah. Okay, bismillah. Okay, ready? I'm going to need some help. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay, ready? So you're going to face this way so you don't have to see anyone. Okay, so what you're going to do is first we're going to work on your pronunciation, okay? So first, inshallah, and mashallah, you have a beautiful voice, very good pronunciation, okay? Just try to copy me, okay? Exactly, okay? So, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ila. Ila. Ha illa Allah. Ha illa Allah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, okay? So, now what I want you to do. Because I want you to try to copy my tone, okay? So, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Try that. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. You see, mashallah? Mashallah, you see that? With just, just, just a little bit of practice, he's already getting that tone, inshallah, okay? So now I want you to do this. And I want you to copy me in a deep voice. Try to make your voice deep, okay? So go. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah Okay Ashadu an la ilaha illallah See, mashallah, he already changed his tone from previously the way he said it. You see what I mean by it? When you listen and you record, what you want to do is you want to listen to a YouTube clip of any muazzin that's, that's amazing, right? You can listen to Abdul Basir Rahim Allah, anyone that gives the, the azan. You listen to them and you try. You're not going to master it that second, not that day, but slowly because you have your own beautiful voice, mashallah. And thank you for volunteering. You have, you have your own voice, but you have your own tone, but you could follow the rhythm to where they go, right? So I'm going to do it again with you, inshallah. Okay, ready? So, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. See, mashallah, he's going with the tone. And so now we're going to do uh, Haramain tone. So it's going to be Mecca and Medina, okay? So I want you to try. It's, it's going to be a little hard, but you can do it, inshallah, okay? And before you even do it, I want you to exhale, inhale, and because you're going to need a little bit of more breath. But listen to me first, and then we'll, we'll go with you, inshallah, okay? Allah Akbar Allah Akbar You're going to try inshallah but try to try to copy it the tone okay don't worry about anything else just try to copy that tone okay, okay. Allah Akbar Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. Now I want you to try it again, okay? Exhale, inhale. I want you to go like this. Copy me. I'm going to go a little bit. Just copy exactly what I say, not the full thing, okay? For example, Allah. Just try that. Allah. Mashallah, you see? See what a difference it is? So when it comes, you can sit down. Jazakallah khair. Mashallah. So the, when it comes to, uh, when you give the azan, you have to be very, very careful with your breath. And you have to be very careful. Uh, you don't want to go on a high pitch. So if you start on a high pitch, you'll die out right away. You want to start off on a low pitch so then you can hit those high notes. What I mean by that, <clears throat> this is what I mean by those high, I'll give you a high note inshallah, okay? So, <clears throat> this is going to be a high note. If you continue to go this note, you're going you're gonna to stop. You're going you're gonna to hit this, the top and you, 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 your voice is going to start screeching out. And I'll explain to you what I mean by that, okay? So, for example, a high note would be... 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. That's a high tone pitch, right? So then you have a low tone pitch. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. If you start off with a low tone throughout the whole adhan, you can slowly change it into a high pitch to where the ending of every line, it sounds beautiful at the end, right? And that's that's when you can master it, inshallah. Yes, brother. So the difference between a high note and a low note, yes. do you think it's uh, a difference in like what you hear exits out of it? Like for instance, like pronouncing like... Exactly. Like, Exactly, exactly what the brother said. It's where the note, and it's where it, where, where it ends, basically. Because if you go and you end on a high pitch, okay? So for example, I'm gonna, this is, it might sound a little funny, but this is just to give you guys an idea. I'm gonna start off with a high pitch, but you'll see what happens when you start off with a high pitch. It's, it's not gonna go the way you want it, okay? All right? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar! Okay? أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. You see what happens? When you start off with a high pitch, the second line... Sorry, yes, brother. Yeah. <clears throat> you just heard a couple of voice cracks, so because I didn't drink enough water, but it happens a lot. You want to always be careful never to drink cold water before giving the adhan. That will mess you up completely. And you never want... This is for me. You never drink hot tea. Hot tea, for some reason, makes my voice super high pitch to where I can't even start off with a with a low pitch that I want to build to the high pitch to the end. So what I would recommend is lukewarm water. That's the best thing I could recommend, just uh, what's it called? lukewarm water and inshallah. So, but you guys notice the difference with a high pitch if you start off and you try to end it, you can't end it because your voice starts to get screechy, right? So you always want to start off strong, low, and then every line you want to end a little bit high in every line. Okay, and I'll give you an example. Ready? Um, let's go here. This is where you're going to see low pitch going into high pitch. And then you're going to see me basically change a gear in my voice the same way. So I'll start off low and then high, so you'll understand. And we're going to be saying, Hayya ala al-fala, Hayya ala al-salah, Hayya ala al-fala. Okay? Hayya ala al-fala. هيا على الفلاح. I need my water. But you see how I started off low. With Hayal al Fala, and then the second line when I said Hayal al Fala, I pitched it up higher, right? You, have, you guys heard that, right? So, which, that's what you want to do. Bismillah, sorry. That's always what you want to do is when you start off the adhan, is there's obviously there's different styles, right? And so, whatever style you pick, you want to start off with a low tone and then a high tone at the second line, but at the end, not in the beginning. To where if you do it as a high tone, you'll mess up your voice and the whole adhan 
you're going to have to try to continue to keep it at that tone. It's going to be off tone. It's going to sound off in that sense, right? So you always want to, the most important thing is obviously pronunciation is very key. After pronunciation, once you work on your toning, what I mean is by going low and then high, low and then high. After that, inshallah, that's it. And then your voice, everyone here, I can tell you right now in this room, mashallah, has a beautiful voice. Mashallah, everyone has a beautiful voice in this room. And I'll tell you this right now, everyone in this room can probably master four minimum Adhan styles. Master four minimum. Especially these, these brothers here and the, the brother that are sitting down here, mashallah, absolutely. You guys have it in you, inshallah. You guys are the future. You are the ummah and you guys will be the future mu'adhins, inshallah. And whatever you learn, remember, whatever you teach to the next generation, whatever you teach to anyone will be sadaq al jariyah for you, will benefit you, not just for being a brother in Islam, but in general, it will help you and benefit you in ways that you can't even imagine, inshallah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you, to grant us all afiyah, to make you all amongst the most righteous, to make you mu'adhins, shaykhs, ulama. Uh, to make you all lions, inshallah, right? Because as Muslims, alhamdulillah, we have to be strong. We have to be confident. We leave everything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the same time, the door is open and you have to take that opportunity. And mashallah, look what you've done so far. You've all stepped up right now. You've shattered the ice. You've broken that ice. You've all right now, alhamdulillah, have given azan right now in front of Random people that you might not know or people that you do know, family members that you know. But sometimes people have fear. You should never have fear, right? You should never because you're doing this to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what you're doing. That is what you're doing. And you're doing a great and noble thing, alhamdulillah. And you should all have your heads high, and alhamdulillah. And that's, it's a beautiful thing to do that. Just imagine when you give the call to prayer and you touch someone's heart and they make dua for you. And you make dua for them. And you call, and you make that call to prayer to when you have a non-Muslim sitting in the, in the masjid and is curious to hear that call to prayer, it, it opens their heart. Just imagine that you're part of that shahada, right? SubhanAllah. And on top of that, the rewards that, that you get from calling to prayer, right? All the rewards that you get. It's, they say that if you knew the rewards and SubhanAllah, the rewards of being a mu'azzin, people would fight, fight, to give the azan. In other countries, I mean obviously here, alhamdulillah, but if you go to other countries, and I have, and mashallah, I'll tell you this right now, I have given adhan at Hagia Sophia in Turkey, at the Blue Mosque in Turkey, it wasn't easy. I would, uh, uh, the, the biggest mosque in Turkey, I had to stand, and the shiuch stood right there in front of four, 40 people, and, 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 and he spoke broken, he said, give the azan right now, I wanna hear you. I had to, I had to write in front of 40 random people just, with no microphone in a room, just give the azan. Try out. It's, and alhamdulillah, it's, it's a blessing. Remember that when you give the azan, it's it, one on the day of judgment, yawm al qiyamah, your neck will be so, the mu'azins will have the longest necks. The longest necks by far. And on top of that, a mu'azin, a real mu'azin that calls the call to prayer. Imagine subhanAllah, when you call the call to prayer five times a day, when, you, when the Prophet ﷺ is on the other side, and you have to pass that bridge, the Sarata bridge, right? And we all know that it's thin as a hair and it's sharp as a razor. A Mu'azin will glide through, will fly through, past that. So imagine the benefits of that, right? SubhanAllah. Everyone wants to pass that bridge, right? No one wants to fall in, into Jahannam or in the hell. So imagine just by doing that, by being a Mu'azin and, and, and making your mother and your father happy, but at the same time, increasing and helping the ummah at the same time being a part of that and imagine the, the benefits of that inshallah jazakallah khair thank you so much for coming inshallah inshallah i believe we're going to be starting the next program inshallah i'm so happy and uh to see uh mashallah this much uh, when i was growing up like i said uh, i didn't have anyone to teach me the adhan and I am your brother. My name is Khalid Mujatidi. I'm here. I'll give my phone number, my personal phone number. You can call me. You can text me. You can record your adhan. And I will help you and guide you in any way I can, inshallah. And I promise you. And if I'm here at any masajid, you see me and you come up to me, I will give you the ijazah to go give the adhan. Absolutely. Because everyone needs that opportunity. And inshallah, once you get that opportunity, you will 
do the most greatest things, inshallah. And I wish you all the best, inshallah. Uh, inshallah, uh, Brother Munir John has my phone number. Yes, my phone number is right there if you'd like to take a picture, inshallah. Um, and text me and anything you need, inshallah, for the for that, inshallah, becoming a muazzin and any help I can assist you, inshallah, I will. Uh, Jazakallah khair for coming here, inshallah, and make dua, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all, grant us all the hasana. اللهم حدنا في من حديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا في من عطيت وقينا وصفنا شر ما قديت فإنك تقيد أو لقد عليك ولا يؤذ من عديت تبرك ربنا وتعليك لك شرك على ما عطيت نستغفرك اللهم من جميع زنوب الخطي ونتوب إليك آمين جزاك الله خير السلام عليكم